Diane again. Day 24, I think. 30 days, 30 authors. Yeah, day 24. That's right. And uh, today's topic on my list is... No, it's not day 24. It's day 25. Sorry. Huh. Okay, today's topic... I don't remember. It'll say in the title. I'll fix it. But uh, today's topic is fan fiction. And what do I think of fan fiction? And I didn't really spend a lot of time looking at other authors. Oh, that's right in the first place. It was day 25. Well, yeah, 25. But yeah, um, I didn't spend a lot of time looking at what the other authors had to say on it. Because I think I can get an idea. In general... Um, people tend to have what I think is kind of a messed up opinion about fan fiction. Hi, AC! Thanks for joining me. Uh, I think that people are used to thinking of it in terms of bad uh, Dungeons and Dragons off stories or weird uh, gay sex stuff with characters that aren't gay and um, that's like one aspect of fan fiction there's a whole realm of things out there the question first of all is where does fan fiction begin and end where does it become part of a shared realm right now, the general belief on the topic seems to be if the company that originally made whatever it is, say Star Trek, right, decides that uh, they're going to publish that particular thing, right, that particular author's work, yeah, you see he's agreeing with me, right, then it's shared realm, right? Okay, so what happens when something happens like in Star Wars, right? Star Wars under George Lucas had a whole line of books and video games and back history that were official Star Wars products. Then Disney bought it and decided that everything from uh, other than movies 3, 4, 5, and 6 were not canon. Right? So, none of the video games are canon, none of the novels are canon, none of that is actually what happened in the official Star Wars world. 